Jesus calls each of us to live the life of a servant. We spend so much time trying to figure out how we can make it to the top, how, how we can be the best, how we can get ahead, how we can get authority and power our, on our own side. In Matthew chapter 20, James and John, disciples of Jesus who are brothers, have a really embarrassing thing happen. Their mom comes to Jesus and asks him a question. She says, look, Jesus, I know uh, whenever you are sitting on your throne and everything, I'd like my boys, James and John, I'd like them to be sitting at your right hand and your left hand. How about that? Can, 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 we, can we make that happen? And it's really embarrassing. James and John are there with her. The other disciples, in my mind, they're like, are you serious? You're going to have your mom go and ask that question? And, but the Bible actually tells us they were indignant at the brothers too. They were jealous. They wished that their mom had gone and asked that question first. But that brings us to uh, verse 25. Jesus called them to him and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. So he's saying, look around you at the world. Everyone else is trying to get authority over one another. Everyone else is trying to climb on top of each other, climb over each other so that uh, they can boss other people around and do exactly what they want. Verse 26, it shall not be so among you but whoever would be great among you must be your servant whoever would be first among you must be your slave even as the son of man came not to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many it shall not be so among you this should be a theme of the christian life that the world is like this but it should not be so among you Christians, we are called to not look like the world. Whoever would be great among you must be your servant. Whoever would be first among you must be your slave. Stop trying to climb over one another to get to the top. Stop trying to find ways that you can benefit from other people. And instead, stop and see how you can serve others. Stop and see how you can stoop down and take the lower position to help other people through your humility. This goes against everything that the world teaches us. But we take our example from Jesus himself. In verse 28, it's even as the Son of Man came. Jesus gave us the example of what it really means to be great. Jesus, who had the right to sit at the throne and rule over all things, Jesus, the creator of all things. Jesus, the son of the living God. He came not to be served, but to serve. Jesus, the God who is worthy of our worship, gave his life for us. He sacrificed himself for us. We who deserve death. We, were, we who were his enemies. We who are weak, we who are trying to climb over one another to get a little bit higher, but we're just digging ourselves into a ditch as we do it. For us, Jesus humbled himself to serve us. We were helpless and weak, and he stooped down to our level and said, let me help you, let me serve you by giving my life for you. This is true greatness. So, how are we going to live our lives? If the king of glory found true greatness in humbling himself to service to people like us to save us, how are we going to live? Don't make your life about building yourself up and making yourself look good and earning accolades for yourself. Ask yourself every day, how can I be serving the people around me? How can I use my life? How can I humble myself and give myself for them like Jesus gave himself for me?